Hello everybody, it's me again and I'm going to talk to you about uh, a topic which is very important uh, topic in mobile devices, mobile programming, app development, which, called, which is called core location or positioning. If you, uh, in short, it's called positioning or knowing where you are, knowing where the, de enabling the device to know where they are and their lo what's their location. All right. Now, the core location works in uh, several ways, okay? Or how does the device know where it is? Well, one way it knows where it is, it uses GPS positioning, global positioning system, and your device uh, already has a GPS chip built into it, so it will communicate if it's sitting outside in, uh, uh, and it has access to, this, uh, to the GPS, then it'll communicate with this GPS and send the GPS send you the coordinates of your position, the longitude and latitude. Now, if you don't have that, if you are like sitting indoor and then there is something called, uh, you can, and you're connected to Wi-Fi, well, you're most likely connected to a hotspot or a router or something like that. And those devices have IP address and that IP address can tell you, you can, from that IP address, you can tell your position. Now, this is not accurate, not very accurate, because uh, the, 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 it's not accurate, and then it always, it's, the, the position is always jerky. Sometimes you're connected to this position, to this network. Sometimes you're connected to another network hotspot. So it's not very accurate. Same thing with the last one, which is network, your carrier, you know, like whether it is uh, your mobile or provider, okay, uh, network provider. And then the way it works, then if you, your device at, and at and any point, you're connected to actually three cell towers, okay, and then that, uh, that is what we call triangulation. So you're using the triangulation to, to determine your position. And then the information you get, it's basic. It's longitude and latitude. It's two numbers, double numbers, and they range, uh, they're not that big, but uh, knowing these uh, numbers, you will you know where you are. If you put them in a map, then you know where you are in that map, okay? So that is the concept of core location. Now, the next thing is that how do you enable your app, iOS app, to make it, uh, use core location. Well, two things. First, if you want to do the, if you want to just use core location, you need to add the core location framework. And then when we end the tutorial, first tutorial, I'll show you how to do that. And then if you, your cat, if you, if you're using maps in your application, then you need to add the map kit framework also. All right. And again, when we do the app, you'll see them better. Okay. Uh, the after you add you add these core locations, then you need to give authorization to your app to use the location services. So for what you do is that you need to add these two key values. One of them is called NS location when in usage description and NS location always in usage, uh, usage description. The difference between these two, this is only runs in the foreground. So I only getting position while I am running in, while your app is running in the foreground. Now, if you want to always get position, whether it's in the front and the, the, your app is running in the foreground or in the background, then you use the second one, which is NS location, always usage description. Okay, that's up to you how you want to use it. Okay. Now, a word of cautious is that you don't want to be running all the time. I mean, it drains your battery, battery very, very quickly. So you be careful on how to use these things. Okay, it depends on your... You see, and there's different techniques. I mean, I'll discuss them when I talk about the, uh, uh, how we implement your, uh, the app, okay? All right. Once we do that, then we can use, you need to, of course, import core data, core location in your, in the header of your class. So you need to do import core location. And if you're using maps, then you need to say import map kit, okay? But after that, you need to, all it is, is that you create a location manager. And the location manager is the heart of your core location. Without this, nothing happens. So you define a variable. I, for short, I call it LM, but a lot of, comp a lot of uh, tutorials you see online, they call it location manager. And then you create an instance of that location manager. Once you create the instance of the location manager, 
Now you could define this in the header of the class as a class attribute, or you can define it uh, need to be defined at the, at the, at the, uh, as a class attribute or class uh, property. Then in here, in the view, you can initiate it at the, that time or in the view did load or in the initializer, whatever. Okay, but you need to create the core location. Now you could have done this also. You can say lm calling CLL location manager to be specific. All right. After we create an object, then we need to get the authorization. And again, it's either you use this or this, depending on the usage of your app. But to be on the safe side, you can just use this. But again, you want to be careful about draining your battery. All right. So we created a location manager. We get the authorization. The next thing is that we need to say, OK, the, what happens with the location manager? Location manager needs a delegate if you want to use it properly. What the delegate does basically, uh, when you say you, you uh, the location manager got the position that it sent, it calls the proper method that I got a position, or right? I got uh, my location, or you got you entered a particular region, then the location manager determines that you in, you know send the information to that particular delegate. We'll talk about these methods when we actually do the application. So the the point I'm trying to tell you, you need the look, you need a delegate if you want to use the method provided in the uh, location manager, all right? So for example, your class, you make your class implement CLL location manager delegate in the header. Same thing, after you make your class that you're using as, your de as a location manager, then you set the delegate of the location manager that we created in the previous class, previous slide, to self, which is the class you're using. After this, you start doing the update. So you can issue a command to the location manager, say start updating. Start updating, it try to acquire the position, find where you are, and when it finds your, where you are, it, send, it calls the proper method that tells, it, it, it fires the proper method says, or function says, oh, I got a new location. And here are, here are the coordinates of this location that you're in, which is, remember, it's basics of long, longitude and latitude. All right. The last thing you want, you need to implement those functions that, you, that you're going to use in your app, whether it is you're changing the headings or you change, you've got the acquired new position, you enter a new region, whatever. There's a lot of them, okay? We'll cover some of them, all right? Now, this is what I was talking to you about the strategy. Maybe your application does not need to know its position all the time. Maybe it just needs to know its position at the start of the app. Okay. So what you could do is that once you got the, you acquired the once you acquired the position here and the proper method, then you can issue a command instead of start update, start updating location. You say stop updating location. That means your GPS chip stops. That way you can save battery. So you don't need it to be running all the time. You can do it only when you want to get acquired position. And again, and this is, there is, not, there is a, pay, a price you have to pay for this because getting your position is not just like that. It takes time to acquire your position, to establish connections and then figure out where you are. That takes time. So you, your app has to be smart enough to know Oh, by the time I want to do this, I already have my position. Or you can make wait, you know, you can make it wait until you get the position. So that's up to you how you design your app. Okay. But there's different strategy to do this. That is with the map kit. Now that's with the core location. The map kit is works actually basically works based on uh, location manager. Okay. To get your position, for example, on the map kit, you still have to use get authorization and use the location manager. So how to add a map kit? You go to the user interface to the storyboard, add a map, uh, map, uh, map uh, view, establish the outlet, and assign the delegate of the map. So there is actually map delegate, all right? And that is different than the core location delegate. This talks about, for example, zooming in and zooming out, all right? Or changing regions or changing, yeah, there are a few things, or I want to get an annotation. So there are different, uh, different delegate for the map. And finally, you implement the uh, map delegates. Now, 
the method that you need in your map delegate. Now, this will make more sense when we actually start doing the exercise, but this will give you an overview of what these are. Core location manager give you the positioning, and it can tell you where you are based on uh, your coordinates, GPS coordinates, longitude and latitude, and you can do a lot more with this. And once you get acquire that, you can do many things with it. You can add it to a map to show where you are in a map, or uh, you can uh, zoom in, zoom out in a map, and then you can determine what are, for, just to give you an example that I've done before, when every time you zoom in or zoom out, maybe you want to see property listing in that area. So you can uh, you can use one of the map kit delegates methods to do that. All right. All right. So this is just an overview. Uh, in the next video, I'll show you. We'll start the tutorial, and then we'll just follow these steps that we talked about. Okay. So this is the end of this video, and I'll see you on the next video.